Hello and welcome to your next math lesson. If you haven't already made your ultimate scratch paper, make sure you pause this video and go and do that now because you're definitely going to want it for today's lesson. Today's lesson is called multiply by one digit numbers. Now go ahead, open up your math notebook to the next available page and write that title at the top of the page, multiply by one digit numbers, and then take these notes right here. In order to multiply by one digit numbers, multiply the number on bottom by the ones on top, then by the tens, then by the hundreds, and so on, regrouping when necessary. Now you probably weren't able to write all that in the amount of time that I could read it, but I'm not gonna pause for you to write it down because this is a video, so you can just pause the video, finish taking down these notes, and then you can press play again. Okay, I also, as I solve these with you, I want you to write down these example problems in your math notebook and solve them with me as I do them in the video. Okay, so the first one is 38 times 4. Notice we're multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number, and that's today's lesson, multiply by one-digit numbers. So today, the number on the bottom, the bottom factor will always be a one-digit number, but the top number, the top factor, could be a two- or three-digit number. Now again, as I solve these with you, you're, you should be writing these down in your math notebook, and you should be solving them with me as I do them on the video. So you should write down 38 times 4 in your math notebook. Now the first step is multiply the number on bottom by the ones place on top. So we're gonna multiply the four by the eight, and four times eight is 32. Now it also says regroup when necessary. We can't fit the three and the two and 32 in the ones place on bottom. So we put the two right here and we regroup or carry the three above the tens place. Now we multiply the ones place on bottom by the tens place on top. Four times three is 12, and we add what we carried, okay? So four times three is 12, plus three is 15. So that means the answer is 152. 38 times four is 152. Okay, the next example, 42 times two, make sure you write it down in your math notebook. We start by multiplying the ones place on bottom, whoops, Messed up on that. We start by multiplying the ones place on bottom by the ones place on top. And two times two is four. We didn't have to carry this time. Now we multiply the ones on bottom by the tens place on top. Two times four is eight. Okay, and that's how you multiply a two digit or three digit number by a one digit number. You just multiply the ones place on bottom by the ones place on top then by the tens place on top, then if there's a hundreds place, you multiply by that and you regroup when necessary. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third example problem, 38 times four. So we multiply our ones place on bottom by our ones place on top. Four times eight is 32. We have to regroup. We put the two in the ones place and carry the three over the tens place. Now we multiply our ones place on bottom by our tens place on top. Four times three is 12. Is this the same problem twice? Did I accidentally put the same? I did, I put the same problem twice. My bad. Four times three is 12 plus three is 15. I'm not gonna restart the video just because of that because we have quite a few examples here. So we did do the same one twice on accident, but that's all right. Okay, now, now we have a three digit number. So this one has a ones, tens, and a hundreds place. We have that on top, still multiplied by a, by a one digit number on bottom. But we do it the same way. We multiply the ones place on bottom by the ones place on top. Three times seven is 21. Put the one here and carry the two above the tens place. Now we multiply the ones place on bottom by the tens place on top. And we have to add what we carried. Three times one is three, plus two is five. Now we multiply our ones place on bottom by our hundreds place on top, and three times two is six. So 217 times three is 651. Okay, those are our example problems. Now let's do our guided practice. 
in your math notebook, write guided practice, and then write these four problems. 21 times 3, 52 times 9, 32 times 6, and 143 times 9. And we'll solve them together. Okay? Now, again, I'm not going to pause for you to write those down. You probably, you probably weren't able to write them down in the amount of time I just now gave you, but you can just pause the video, write all four of those problems down, and then press play again. Okay? So the first thing we do is we multiply our ones place on bottom by our ones place on top. Three times one is three. Then we multiply our ones place on bottom by our tens place on top. Three times two is six. That was a pretty easy one, wasn't it? 21 times three is 63. Moving on to the next one. We multiply our ones place on bottom by our ones place on top. Nine times two is 18. In this one, we have to regroup. You put the ones place under the ones place on top and you carry the tens place above the tens place on top. Now we multiply our ones place on bottom by our tens place on top. Nine, and we add what we carried. So nine times five is 45, plus one is 46. So 52 times nine is 468. Two more problems left. We have 32 times 6. We multiply our ones place on bottom by our ones place on top. 6 times 2 is 12. We have to regroup. We put our 2 here and carry our 1 above the tens place. Now we multiply 6 times 3, and it's 18 plus the 1 is 19. So the answer is 192. Now here we have a three digit number. It's got a ones place, tens place, and a hundreds place on top multiplied by a one digit number on bottom. We start by multiplying the ones place on bottom by the ones place on top. Nine times three is 27. We have to carry the two above the tens place. Now we multiply our ones place on bottom by our tens place on top and we add what we carried. Nine times four is 36 plus two is 38. Now we multiply our ones place on bottom by our hundreds place on top. Nine times one is nine plus three is 12. And we have to make sure to put commas when we have a thousands place. So we count over from the right to the left, one, two, three, and the, the comma goes between the thousands place and the hundreds place. And the answer is 1,287. All right, well, that's your guided practice. Hopefully you took down everything in your math notebook that I just wrote with you on this lesson, including the notes, and your independent practice will be the assignment attached below. All right, below. Okay, and I will catch you next time. Signing off.